Assalamu alaikum dears, my silke. Can you read a floor plan? If you can't, let's learn this nice topic today. A few friends just demanded the same topic, so that's why I'm making this video today. Here I just got a nice and a simple floor plan over here. Having three bedrooms, veranda, kitchen, and some bathroom, staircase, etc. It's, it's just a simple floor plan, okay? Here don't challenge the pronunciation of plan because some people just pronounce it as a plan and some people just pronounce it as a plan. No problem, I'm not teaching in English over here. I'm just giving an idea about how to read a floor plan, right? But why should I learn how to read a floor plan or how to analyze it? Well, it's a really important factor when you buy a new plot or residential building, any structure may be. By analyzing its floor plan, we get an idea if it's better for me or not. So this is just the main purpose of reading a floor plan. Here in this section, I'll just provide a few notes you should analyze while binding a new plot or just a residential building or any other structure maybe. But before reading a floor plan or analyzing a floor plan, let's learn what's a floor plan or floor plan. Well, it's just a drawing, a type of drawing which shows different parts or different components of a building or structure. Like the building direction, the building entrance area, the position of kitchen and rooms, the place of doors, windows, ventilators, stairs, and lift, etc. And the storage places, of course, the veranda and bathrooms, and the dimensions of each part or component in a plan. And some things touch, so I'll just write, say, etc. Now the question is how to read or analyze a floor plan. Well, just keep two points in mind. Ask the builder and read the floor plan. Well, it's good. Here, based on my knowledge, let me just provide you a few checks you should analyze or read before just buying a new plot or maybe a structure. The first thing is you should check the building direction. And the building direction is always given in a form of symbol like, th like this one. Look at this one. This arrow just represents the building direction based on north or just maybe you call it uh, Shamal in Urdu, okay? In Urdu language. So this symbol, this uh, north alphabet just shows the direction of a building or structure. So you can get an idea about the direction of building or in a structure in its component like the direction of rooms, the direction of stair, maybe you can get an idea about the building, natural ventilation and sunlight, maybe, right? So, so you should check uh, the direction of your structure first and then get an idea about the entrance of the building. Check the moment of a person from a common area to the building entrance. And you can just imagine a person, right, making entry to the building how a person can walk in a building through different entrance. Like what path is pulled by a man while entering the building, right? Tip top, tip top, and tip top, right? And what's the connection of rooms and different components with each other? So this is for entrance of building. And check the number of rooms and think about your family size and its needs in future. Like, just think, you may need in a big number of rooms if your family is in a big, right? Also check the privacy of building parts, like a room to rooms connection and bathrooms to bathroom connection and some things other, right? Also check all the dimension of each component of the building or structure in the floor plan. Like look at the bathrooms and the bedrooms and the kitchen, right? Are these size okay for you? So you can get a nice idea from these dimensions about your future needs and your current demand, right? Here, just look at this bedroom, right? It's 13 by 13 feet. It's really small bedroom. The size of this bedroom is really small. But however, it's, it's enough for some time, right? For some families, it's okay. So before deciding it's better or not, check all the dimensions of each member of the floor plan. 
and then check the building ventilation, right? Make sure your building or structure is naturally ventilated. Check also the artificial ventilation based on windows and ventilators, right? This is really a good term, the ventilation one, okay? If your building is not well ventilated, there are some problems that will happen, right? You can also check the lighting of your buildings, so you can make sure the building lighting should be just naturally available, right? Which also depends upon the direction of the building or structure. Also check the pace of your building and some things touch like the natural resources, water, food, and also check the types of people right around you or your building. You may need a building near to the people or just so far from the people. This depends upon the building type, but no problem, check all these things, right? Also check for schools, playgrounds, and markets, and hospital maybe, right? Are these things accessible or not? So after all these things, when you analyze or read all these points, you'll get an enough idea about the plan or structure. Then you can decide if it's better or not. However, a nice idea can be obtained when its model is available or when it's constructed. So this is it. You learned how to read a floor plan and get an idea about it's better or not. Thank you dears for watching, see you next time, Hello, salam.